another Viper. We have a Countach. We've got a number of NSXs. We have some classic Corvettes. We've got a, uh, um, a Ghibli Maserati, 1972, I believe. Some great Porsches. Uh, you name it, it's probably here. They are the cars that dreams are made of. Exotic. Powerful. Sleek. Graceful, even standing still. Today, over three dozen of the world's most sought-after automobiles compete against each other in the 1996 Great Continental Divide Car Rally. Among those driving, 1996 Indianapolis 500 winner Buddy Lazier in his 1996 pace car awarded to the winner. It's just so nice to be here in my hometown of Vail, Colorado. It's a great, it's just such a great cause, you know, children with arthritis. And uh, it's just a great thing to go do on a, on a Saturday. We're really looking forward to it. It's a great group of people here and uh, it's really exciting. Welcome everybody to beautiful Vail, Colorado for the second annual Great Continental Divide Car Rally. I'm Sandy Santucci. In the next half hour, we're gonna be showcasing some of the most incredible automobiles this side of the Mississippi. So don't go away, we'll be right back in Prime Network for the Great Continental Divide Car Rally. Step back Opening. The second annual Great Continental Divide Car Rally is brought to you by Paul Mitchell Systems, professional hair care products available at fine salons everywhere. And by Budweiser, the king of beers. This Bud's for you. And by AC Delco Electronics and Dollar Rent-A-Car. Do you need video production services for corporate communications, a training video, a television commercial to drive sales of your business? JSP can make your production a success. We offer top quality services at the most affordable rates available. John Sandy Productions, Inc. is a highly motivated team of video film production and multimedia experts. Put the power of video communications to work for you. 303-721-6121 or visit us on the web, JSPTV.com. And we're underway. Over $2 million worth of exotic showroom cars rolling out of Vail, Colorado for the Great Continental Divide Car Rally. Second out of the gate, the 96 Indy Pace Car driven by Buddy Lazier. Among the rest of the field, this 1972 Lamborghini Countach, three Ferrari Mondials, a trio of classic Corvettes, a collection of Porsches, some newer Corvettes, and a rare 65 Ferrari 332 plus two. for the first leg of the Great Continental Divide Car Rally. We'll see you in Leadville. The course for the 1996 Great Continental Divide Car Rally consists of five loops, from Bale to Leadville, Leadville the long way around to Breckenridge, from Breckenridge north to Kremling, Kremling on to State Bridge, Colorado, and then State Bridge back to Vail, a total of over 240 miles, four crosses of the Continental Divide. And why a rally? Well, about in 1990, I had the opportunity to do a, a, a rally across Europe with John Paul DeJory, the owner of uh, Paul Mitchell Systems, and we did a, uh, we raced the Orient Express from London to Venice, and I thought it was just such a great time that uh, it would be a great thing to bring to Colorado here. And, the reason I picked the Arthritis Foundation is because my mom had arthritis all of her life and you know, I, knew, I know what it's like to, to see somebody in pain all their life and I thought that now that we're all pretty well established, if we can give back a little bit, uh, this would be a great way to do it. Like number one, one of Colorado's scenic byways spanning two national forests. There's some colossal peaks, plenty of narrow two-lane mountain roads.
Some of the other highlight features of the 37 mile loop, the stunning Red Cliff Bridge. Camp Hale, where the skiing soldiers of World War II train, and near where their dead are honored. There's also Tennessee Pass, our first cross of the Continental Divide, and the two tallest mountains in Colorado, Mount Massive straight ahead, Mount Albert on the left. And that brings us to Checkpoint Leadville, the highest incorporated city in the United States. In the old days, some called it the Cloud City because of its nearly two mile high altitude. Leadville was a rough and tumble mining town, home to such Western notables as Doc Holliday and the unsinkable Molly Brown. Miners came by the wagon load seeking fortunes here. A few lucky ones pulled million dollar gold or silver fortunes from the mines around and underneath the town. Leadville became one of the burgeoning cities in the historic Old West and almost became the capital of the Colorado Territory. Today, Leadville is a bedroom community for nearby ski resorts. Its fortune lies in the tourism industry and by hosting the cars and drivers of the second annual Great Continental Divide Car Rally. Our stopover today at the historic Healy House. Well, we've made it all in one piece to Leadville, Colorado, to the historic Healy House. Now it's on to Breckenridge, where we'll take a two-hour lunch break before moving on to the next checkpoint. We'll see you in Breckenridge. Do you need video production services for corporate communications? A training video? A television commercial to drive sales of your business? JSP can make your production a success. We offer top quality services at the most affordable rates available. John Sandy Productions, Inc. is a highly motivated team of video film production and multimedia experts. Put the power of video communications to work for you. 303-721-6121. Or visit us on the web, JSPTV.com. Loop number two of the Great Continental Divide Car Rally takes the drivers to the ski resort town of Breckenridge, crossing over the Continental Divide twice and under it once, a total of 74 miles. And our drivers bent on getting some speed this time around, the pedal is to the metal.
at the top of Loveland Pass. So far, so good. Everybody's on schedule. Next checkpoint is Breckenridge, Colorado. And here we go. See you later. drive coming over oh, the path. Was, it was terrific. Well, I can't think of a better way to spend a day at 10,000 feet. It was really good. Enjoyed it a lot. Thank you. I'm the, uh, what am I? The navigator. Okay. <laughs> Who's usually just hanging on for dear life. <laughs> How was it coming over Loveland Pass? Oh, we had an escort. We had a police escort. So it was grand, but nice and slow. And it felt real good to be. It was a nice, beautiful. I'm Buddy Lazier, the 1996 Indy 500 winner. We're here in beautiful Colorado for a great cause. Stay tuned for more action. Having a lot of fun. How's the car running? The car's running well, probably too well, I guess, given, uh, given police reports. One of the many drivers participating in the Great Continental Divide Car Rally to benefit arthritis. Among them, Indy 500 winner Buddy Lazier. And we're ready to go with loop number three. <laughs> Can I go this way? Oh, this way, okay. This way. <laughs> Loop 3 consists of a 52-mile jaunt north, then northwest to the town of Kremling, then on to State Bridge. No crosses of the Continental Divide on this loop. But as they leave Breckenridge, the drivers and crews in the Great Continental Divide car rally leave behind one of the most historical places in all of Colorado. 100 years ago, Breckenridge was a bustling gold mining town, one of the biggest in the West. The largest gold nugget ever found in the state, Tom's Baby, was literally picked up on nearby Farm Comb Hill. It weighed in a whopping 13 plus pounds. Breckenridge was also home to Father Dyer, an itinerant preacher and mailman, thought to be the first skier in the United States. Breckenridge, real Colorado. Our driver slowing it down just a tad for loop number three. Another scenic treat featuring part of the Colorado River Scenic Byway. And as we hit the road for loop number three, just imagine cranking up the radio and taking one of these hot cars for a spin. This is what you'd see.
SS Ghibli Spider, one of only three like it in the world. One of the three dozen showroom cars traveling the road to bring money and awareness to the Arthritis Foundation and at the same time soak up some real Americana. No vacancy. State Bridge, Colorado and State Bridge Lodge. Relaxing reminder of days gone by before the internet and cable TV. For that matter, before bridges over the Colorado River. For State Bridge, travelers used to ferry across the mighty Colorado. And in 1889, the first bridge on the Colorado River was built here. Thus the name, State Bridge. Here we go. One last jaunt to finish out the 96th Great Continental Divide Car Rally. A total of 38 miles to cover our final loop, 16 miles of two-lane road to I-70, then 22 miles to our start finish in Vail. The most interesting sights along the way, the little town of Walcott, which gets its 15 minutes of fame nearly every decade or so, when the owner sells the entire town, lock, stock, and post office. And this hummingbird doing its thing, oblivious to the happenings around it. A total of 36 cars began the day nearly eight hours and 220 miles ago. All but Indy winner Buddy Lazier should finish. Lazier pulled out due to aggravating injuries suffered in an Indy car crash last year before he won the 500. Vail, of course, known as a world-class ski resort and popular summer tourist destination, hosting millions of tourists annually and host of the 89 and upcoming 99 World Alpine Ski Championships. The final stop, the lush digs of the world-famous Lodge at Vail, a high-end resort hotel that grew up with the resort, mere sheep pasture a little over 35 years ago, now one of the premier resort properties in the world. Paul Mitchell Systems' Lucky Deniluk has the checkered flag honors today bringing home the cars and signaling the end of a day of road work to benefit the Rocky Mountain Arthritis Foundation. The Arthritis Foundation, the Great Continental Divide's chosen beneficiary of the funds raised by this automobile adventure through the Colorado Rocky Mountains. No tickets? No tickets. <laughs> Well, we finally made it. It's been an incredible day. Unbelievable, over 240 miles. No accidents, one speeding ticket. Everybody's okay and glad to be back in Vail. The drivers showing off their cars one more time at the Concours d'Elegance on beautiful Gore Creek Drive. And now it's time for the Paul Mitchell Make a Difference segment, today honoring the Arthritis Foundation a national voluntary health organization working to find the cure and improve the quality of life for 40 million Americans with arthritis. Paul Mitchell Systems salutes the Arthritis Foundation making a difference. Last year, the Great Continental Divide Car Rally raised enough money to buy this new Ford van. And on behalf of the Great Continental Divide Car Rally and Paul Mitchell Professional Hair Care, I'd like to give you the keys, Jim Gumford, for the children with arthritis. Okay, thank you. Uh, yeah, this van will be used, or has been used already this year, for uh, the juvenile arthritis camp in Estes Park. 
uh, to transport our kids to and from camp and around uh, the Colorado mountains during uh, the camp week. And they had a great time and they enjoyed it. So thank you very much. But on behalf of John Paul and all the employees of Paul Mitchell, we're just so happy to be involved in something that is so special for children with arthritis. We were able to raise enough money to buy a van for children with arthritis. It was a great cause. They're beautiful, exotic automobiles. Uh, it was a wonderful day in Colorado. What more can you ask for? Another beautiful weekend in Colorado. How about next year? Another great event coming up next year. We'll see you next time on Prime Network. Good job, it's a wrap. The 1996 Great Continental Divide Car Rally. Brought to you by Paul Mitchell Systems. Professional hair care products available at fine salons everywhere. This has been another wild ride from JSP Video Production in association with TSI.